All right, video documentation regarding my axle shaft seals on my gearbox. So, um, a couple things to note here just for future reference. I'm redoing my seals here because I had installed them with Curel T inside and outside, which is a non-hardening sealant. And on upon closer inspection, this is not a uh, appropriate application for uh, the OD of the seal, which we don't want it to ever come loose and start spinning, or the ID of the seal, which is supposed to seal against the shaft itself, but um, the sealant is kind of uh, sticky and never hardens. Um, anyway, this is debatable. So I went ahead and reinstalled them dry on both sides after cleaning up uh, all surfaces. However, one thing to note is this bolt here was missing a washer. I don't know why, um, but I put a new one in there. Um, not sure what I was thinking there. Also, the depth of the seals on both sides is not the same. Here, I think it was about, you can't see it, but it's about 200 thousandths of an inch recessed. Whereas over here, it's closer to 300 thousandths. And the reason why I bring that up is because on this side, I noticed after I pressed in the seal that the lip of the seal was very close to the uh, internals, to the differential. So I thought, man, there isn't a lot of room here for um, the lip of the seal to seal against this uh, shaft surface here, that shiny ring that you see there. So after installing it, about 200 thou, wiped it clean, inserted it, took it back out, and I could see that there was about 100 thousandths of flange left, you could see a mark where it had the lip of the seal landed 100 thousandths from the inner edge. So I actually installed it a little bit too deep, but um, should seal on this side, uh, but we'll keep an eye on it in case it ever starts leaking. But had I set it to the same depth as the other side, then we'd be in big trouble. It wouldn't, um, this, the lip of the seal would be past this sealing surface here. So that got me thinking about the first seal that I did on the other side. So I went back and removed it and I noticed that actually the differential is a lot further away from the lip of the seal, meaning that this is going to bottom out further inboard than it is on the other side. So and you can see here where it's actually in very, very far. It's about th almost 300 thousandths. But if I install this, let's see if we can see it with the camera, but you can't see it, but I can feel it. Right there is where it, the, this surface, this inner corner here, touches the sealing lip on the axle shaft seal, right there. And now I'm gonna push it past the seal. It's quite a bit. So it ends up landing probably, probably around halfway where it uh, originally had been sealing on this side. So we're probably okay on this side. No worries, it should seal there, no issue. This side, I may have recessed it a little bit too much, but there's still 100 thousandths of axle shaft uh, sealing surface contacting. So uh, nothing should leak out from this side, but if if either of the sides is gonna start leaking, it might be this one first when, uh, when this seal starts to get old. But anyway, just wanted to keep that record for future reference in case we start noticing some leakage or uh, something in the future. Also, I've already done this bottom gasket with Curial T. This is a good application for that because um, that isn't a moving, uh, moving surface of any kind. I'll be doing, replacing this guy, the main seal in the back, as well as the O-ring that's under here. 
And I've already done this one. We're gonna leave that one there. This is a brand new one that has Curl T on it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll leave it there and uh, keep an eye on it. I think we did a good job the first time around. That's it. Uh, gearbox is almost done and ready for installation.